Okay, we're gonna try jacking this thing up and eventually moving it over, get it over in that space so it's not as visible, so it's kind of hiding behind the shed. This is a 1960 Ford Starliner. We are going to lift it with some original bumper jacks that would have been carried in the trunk of this style car. Then we are going to insert some logs under the frame before lowering the jacks back down. This will hopefully enable the vehicle to be able to be driven sideways with a tractor. Our goal is to move the over so it isn't in the middle of the opening and consequently not so visible. Okay, got up in there about as high as this bumper jack is going to take it. Didn't accomplish much yet though. Not much frame there. I don't know what we're going to drag it on. Okay, let's be jack it up. Check out what that frame's doing there. Yeah, perfect. Restore it. Just need some oil, gas, and WD-40, and it'll be good to go. All right, so we shoved a log under it for now. Don't know if this is going to work, but it'll go under the bell housing and part of the non-existent axle there, and we'll go drop it down, and then we can maybe later slide it. This car has a really horrible frame. Hopefully it won't twist and fold when we attempt to drag it. Okay, we're going to try out a bumper jack. It's uh, really cool. We're going to see how low it can go and we're going to see if it will actually jack up a car here, so check it out. So this isn't the right spot to do it, but we got to get, we got to get at it because it's so low to the ground here. Raise our lever to up and then it should start going up. And if we get it up a little ways, then we'll try this other bumper jack. Oops, should have closed that fuel door first. Might end up squishing it. It's going up. Okay, now if we can get the other one on. bit more. Creaking and groaning. Okay, now let's try. I'm standing off to the side here in case that thing comes flying. How many bumpers nowadays will hold up to being jacked like this? I think that's as high as we need for our purposes, so bumper jacks work if you guys want to borrow it. $100 a day. 
Okay, we got a log underneath it that we're going to drop it down on, which hopefully will allow us to slide it sideways somehow. I mean, we're not going to be able to push it sideways. <laughs> um, we'll have to drag it with a tractor or something. So that will probably be a different day, but we're going to lower the bumper jack. Hope nothing crazy happens. Jack seems to be stuck at that height. You gotta kick it. I ain't gonna kick that thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's go up and then back down. I guess it just took a little bit of wiggling with it and now it's going down. Don't worry, before you pay us the $100 to borrow it, we'll grease it up for you. Okay, woohoo, finally made it. All right, bumper jack up and bumper jack down, all good to go. Okay, we're gonna start up the big tractor so we can try and pull a car, see if it works. in the weeds. It hasn't been used in a while. This tractor is a 1960 International B-75 diesel. It's pretty cool that the year of the tractor matches the year of the Starliner. This tractor has seen better days it has had a lot of cracks in the loader that were welded over the years. Many of the welds were done poorly and now the entire loader sits crooked. The seat was left down the last time it was used so now there is a puddle of water with slimy stuff. The Starliner is a parts car that we don't have any intentions of restoring. We thought about taking off the usable parts, but storage is an issue. The safest way to store the parts, such as body panels or glass, is going to be by keeping them on the car. Otherwise, they would get damaged or lost if we removed them and tried to stack them somewhere. This car has a really horrible frame. Hopefully, it won't twist and fold when we attempt to drag it.
left the seat down. Oh. Oh. to remove the electric fence containing the sheep, goats, and pig so that we could drive the tractor in. Hopefully the animals don't escape while we are doing this.
suitable location to connect the chain is a little bit tricky due to the frame being so poor. We need to move the front and then the back a couple of times before we get it completely in the location we want. On the road again. Awesome. Out of it. Backing it up to do the back end. Probably gonna put on that yummy bumper there. What should we put it on the window? Who wouldn't love a 1964 Starliner back on the road?
very proud of it. I'm happy. It's been made too long since then. So, let's get it moving. We are going to watch a frame twist and bend because all the torque it has. our bucket back. Who needs parts? Mint condition. disappear like Houdini. But there was never a car there. You guys are tripping. Yeah. Came unhooked from the tractor. Nice. Overall, this was very successful. We didn't break anything, and the parts car is where we wanted it. Thank you. Make sure to hit subscribe.